Alright, so in this video we're going to be looking at how to find the sum to infinity of a geometric series. So first off, we have to see that geometric series are just represented algebraically as a times r raised to n. So the sum of geometric series is represented by sigma a r raised to n from n equals whatever till n equals whatever. But what we want to find first off is the sum from zero to infinity. So let's let's try that. Let's say let s infinity equal the sum of a r raised to n from n equals zero till n equals infinity. So first off, let's just try to expand this. And if we expand, we'll see that for n equals zero, we get a, for n equals 1 we get a r, for n equals 2 we get a r square, and so on. Now let's multiply this whole thing by r. So we get r times s of infinity equals a r plus a r square plus a r cube, and again so on. And now notice something interesting. Over here we can see that if we subtract this from this then all of these terms cancel out see and so s infinite minus r times s infinity equals just a now if we take this out common we'll get 1 minus r equals a and so we get that the sum to infinity is a over 1 minus r but let's try let's try generalizing this to other other starting points let's say someone tells me to find it from n equals 2 so for that let's let's just try the same method for n equals 1 first so that'll be ar raised to n to infinite and again we're just going to use the same notation again so now over here this is AR because we're starting from 1 this time plus AR square plus AR cube and then so on and now again if you multiply by R we simply get AR square plus AR cube plus AR raised to 4 and so on and again all of the terms other than the first one cancel off and so we can see that in this case the sum to infinite if we if we minus both of these terms we get just a r and again taking the sum to infinity common we get 1 minus r equals a r and so we get in this case s infinite equals a r over 1 minus r so now the the formula we got before is just a over 1 minus r and looking at this we can we can generalize this for any starting point so we can say that the sum to infinite is just a times r raised to whatever starting point we have i'll call that n s divided by 1 minus r and that is how we find the sum to infinity of geometric progressions